got our opposition party dangling around recall campaigns, lighting those fires, getting the rhetoric out, and, and spreading what I think has been some nasty debate on, on what I think is a very serious issue about the future of this province, you're going to end up with a pushed-up referendum date. It's like the knife to the throat. You know, do it now, otherwise we're going to recall every single one of your MLAs. Well, wait a second, you're not even supposed to be over in those recall campaigns. Get the heck out of there. And you don't recall MLAs on an individual basis on a decision that um, a, a government, technically almost a former government, made. The, that's the problem. It's the rhetoric is running high, the temperature's running high, and, and I think most people are even tuning out uh, the conversation on HST in this province because they just can't handle the battle that's going on. And it's a partisan line that gets drawn. The reality is we need to get back to the discussion on tax policy in the province. We need to, you know, uh, you know, draw draw people into it, the benefits, uh, you know, some of the, some of the negatives to it, the whole discussion. But you know, the fiery debate and the recall campaigns and Bill Vanderzam popping up changed the whole landscape. All That's right, final, final well, thirty or forty five seconds. Well, to it, it changed the landscape because at the end of the day, people saw the taxes being unfair to both individuals and a lot of the small business sector. I'm not and, surprised you said that, Mo. Well, I'm not surprised. Well, Considering right, the hold relationship on, hold on, hold on. of the recall campaign and well, NDP well, organizers, well, it's a crying shame that that happened and that you knew that was going on. Okay, hold on. Go ahead.